What's up guys, this is SuperMike872, and I'm here for the review of Batman Arkham Asylum. Now, please excuse me if some of these pictures are a little long, it's just, I need time to explain stuff. So, first of all, I like this game because of the free flow combat. This game, by far, has the best combat system ever, that you'll ever find. And this picture right here, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, because when I opened it up in Movie Maker, it was kind of blurry. But this is an overview of Arkham Island, and the little white dot thing with the bat on it, that's basically your position. And it should have all the different sections. Um, so yeah, free flow combat here, amazing. You probably can't see it but you'll see it when I start doing gameplay stuff um so <coughs> that is yeah alright I'm gonna get into characters now first character Batman main character basically you all know that and um next one Oracle this is Commissioner Gordon's daughter, uh, she basically helps Batman. Commissioner Gordon, um, Joker, you probably all know him. Bane, he's just one of the psycho people. Zaz is the same way, except for he marks on his skin every victim, and he's saving a special spot for Batman. Uh, Scarecrow, basically, he's just in there. I don't think it's part of the story or anything, personally to me. Killer Croc, Harley Quinn, just basically Joker's girlfriend, you could say. Um, Poison Ivy, <coughs> and Warden Sharp. He is basically the person who runs Arkham Asylum. Um, gadgets. You'll have some gadgets in this one, um, in this game. You got the Batarang and the multi batarangs. Basically, it's just two or three at a time. Um, explosive gel. Explosive gel, you'll know where to use it because they'll have like an exploding icon on the wall and it will stand out really well. Um, remote control battering, you can basically just control wherever you want to go. Ultra bat claw, there's also a regular bat claw, but this one comes towards the end. Um, cryptographic sequencer, it basically just messes up with the, messes with the security system. Line launcher, basically can carry you over a large gap without touching the ground. Sonic battering, um, basically it'll just, I'm not sure what it does, I think it's, by its description, I think it just, um, basically emits like a s sonic sound or whatever and heads towards a, a thug with a suicide call or whatever, I think that's what it is, I'm not totally sure, but now we gotta go into experience obtained. Here's how you obtain your experience. Normal thug is 25. Plant pod, 25. Pipe thug, 35. Armed thug, uh, 50. Knife thug, 50. Lunatic, 50. Joker teeth, 50. Stun, stun batten thug is basically a stick that emits an electric charge. He's 75. Riddler trophy, 200. Interview tape. 200, Riddle, 200, Riddler Map, 200, Chronicle of Arkham, 200, is basically a stone with a little beetle on it, they'll, you'll notice them, um, Titan Thug, a thousand, they're just basically ripped, <laughs> bosses and story objectives are variable, um, and upgrades, special combo throw, special combo takedown, special combo Boost, combo battering, critical combo strikes, inverted takedown, armor upgrade version 1, armor upgrade version 2, 
armor upgrade version 3, armor upgrade version 4, battering power, twin battering, triple battering, remote control battering, sonic battering, sonic shock battering, um, multiple frequency detonator, uh, auto proximity detonator, cryptograph range amplifier, and crypto graphic proximity amplifier that is all the upgrades sorry I had to go through them so fast I don't really have a lot of time today but um that's pretty much it everything in a nutshell I'll get into more some more gameplay probably later on um I'm probably gonna get get to it maybe a little bit in Thanksgiving and more and um during Christmas vacation and everything so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.